Welcome to the presentation by Professor George Gantziers, from Hellenic Open University, at the International Sociological Association, Power, Violence and Justice, Reflections, Responses and Responsibilities, Toronto, Canada. The title of the presentation is, Fake News in Info Communication Public Sphere, Control of Resistance in Digital Ecosystem. The issues discussed in the presentation concern info communication public sphere, fake news, and artificial intelligence. The talk will focus on the notion of representative democracy and fake news. The talk starts with the categories of fake news which is followed by critical discussion about the role of fake news in our democratic systems. Finally, the blockchain model for monitoring and evaluating real and fake news called Dynamic Real and Fake News Algorithm DRFNA, will be discussed. Our socio-cultural systems experience currently the fourth revolution, Info-Communication Intelligence Revolution, characterized by a fusion of digital technologies, blurring the lines between the physical, digital and biological spheres. Fake news is unfortunately the reality. It is a result of commercial attitudes of both mass media and social media, who simply make money by producing fake news. Attention economy is creating the market for fake news in the era of infocommunication intelligence revolution. Fake news does not emerge passively, at random. Often stories with the flavor and style of professional journalism are produced with an intention to deceive or just without care for accuracy. They attract curiosity of readers and listeners. These fake news change public sphere into fake democracy, which constrains people's freedom of speech as well as the quality of journalism. Fake news is not real news. They set up a new digital propaganda system in representative democracy. The digital process of creating real or fake news develops when people interact together on physical and digital platforms finding ways to communicate, produce and share news, in order to negotiate differences to create shared meanings of real or fake news. We can identify at least seven categories of fake news production systems. First, satire or parody, no intention to cause harm but with potential to fool. Second, misleading content, misleading use of information to frame an issue or individual. These digital news services don't publish false news, but mislead their audience by portraying the facts in a skewed, biased manner. Third, imposter content, when genuine sources are impersonated. This could be a comedian or publication that deceives its audience by pretending to be or speak on behalf of a real source. It's not harmful, if clearly identified and understood by the audience. Fourth, fabricated content. News content is 100% false, designed to deceive and do harm. Patently false stories are published, often referring to celebrities or politicians. Their content is distributed on social media networks like Facebook and Twitter by trusting readers while they make money by selling clicks to advertisers on platforms such as Google. Fifth, false connection, when headlines, visuals or captions don't support the content. This is a common complaint against reliable sources of news, which are under increasing pressure to attract audience. Examples of the consequence of the existence of false perceptions are myths about the genocide against white people. Sixth, false context, when genuine content is shared with false contextual information. Publications with strong ideological biases often publish stories that suit their agendas confirm their prejudices and serve as an echo chamber. 7. Manipulated content, when genuine information or imagery is manipulated to deceive. Examples could include the selective use of quotations by politicians to suit a predetermined narrative or the manipulation of photos to aggravate or falsely portray an event or incident. According to survey by Pew Research Center conducted on a sample of over 1,000 adults in the U.S., most Americans suspect that made-up news is having an impact. About two in three U.S. adults, 64 percent, say fabricated news stories cause a great deal of confusion about the basic facts of current issues and events. 
This sense is shared across a wide range of incomes, education levels, political affiliations and the most other demographic characteristics. Looking at the role of the social media in politics and democratic systems, it is apparent that fake news contribute to deconstructing freedom of speech, political freedom and accountability in digital democracy. Fears, recently spreading on social media considerably challenge representative democracy. An example may be here untrue news that Syrian refugees get better benefits than native citizens in Germany. In the Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte relies on Info Communication Army to disseminate false narratives. In Russia, Vladimir Putin's regime has used social media as part of surreptitious campaigns in various countries, including Ukraine, France, Germany and the US. Social media firms create filter bubbles where users are fed information which confirms existing beliefs and prejudices. Spreading fake news reinforces political polarization. Within this context, we may ask how to monitor and recognize fake news. Why should global or local media investors seriously consider evaluating and monitoring real and fake news? To tackle these challenges, we have developed a model called Dynamic Real and Fake News Algorithm DRFNA. The model uses AI, enhanced services to monitor and evaluate real and fake news. It relies on three main applications. Greater than first, identity of real and fake news application, IRFNA, the intelligent process of creating the specific identity AI, enhanced services news production. These news production services rely on blockchain mechanism of five AI applications for producing, managing and accessing news, real or fake. AI application for news production. AI application for news management. AI interfaces for news access. AI application for news monitor and AI application for news evaluating. Second, Infocom Smart Devices Interface, Infocom SDI, the process of using smart digital devices with artificial intelligence chips processors to access news, real or fake. Infocom Smart Devices Interface provides access to news content anywhere and anytime, by everyone. Third, News Impact Factor Evaluation, NIFE, the process evaluates news, real or fake by using the AI-enhanced applications to monitor and to evaluate news production, news management and access to news. In infocommunication public sphere the dynamic real and fake news algorithm axes define a cube-shaped probability space, where a local touch with global reach reliability of news process, transparency of news production systems, and effective public interest principles of news have a positive or negative impact on both global and local media investment or democratic rights. Within this context, the white spot in the upper right-hand corner of the cube represents the maximum likelihood that both global and local media investment and protection of freedom of speech occur. The above blockchain model assumes that a high level of reliability of news process RMP, a highly appropriate transparency of news systems TNS, and highly effective public interest principles of news production PIPN, are necessary for the expected target media investment or protection of freedom of speech to occur. Finally, the dynamic real and fake news algorithm presents three basic factors, reliability, transparency and public interest principles, that, when taken together, can make news production process more reliable and valuable as a global or local media investment or a free speech protection both locally and globally. The global or local media investors should seriously consider evaluating and monitoring real and fake news by investing in blockchain models such as dynamic real and fake news algorithm Drifner. The main advantages of the Drifner blockchain model are first flexibility to identify the production of news interface by using AI interfaces for news access by Infocom smart devices. Second, 
scalability to use AI-enhanced services to produce, manage and access real or fake news. Third, survivability to monitor and evaluate real or fake news online by using the News Impact Factor Evaluation knife, both locally and globally. Finally, the comparative advantage of the above model is that it introduces innovative AI-enhanced services to protect freedom of speech, public interest, accountability and transparency in digital democracy. Within this context, application of the blockchain model dynamic real and fake news algorithm diminishes the resistance and survival of fake news in info communication public sphere.